Hi, my name is Amanda Oakleaf. I am owner, head baker, decorator of Amanda Oakleaf Cakes in Winthrop, Massachusetts, where we do cupcakes, custom cakes, wedding cakes, birthday cakes, anything you can think of, we can make it into a cake. And today I will be talking to you about baking cupcakes. We're going to start with room temperature butter, five and a third ounces. We're going to add it to a six quart mixer. A five quart would work as well with a paddle attachment. And you want to mix it and beat it until it's light and fluffy so there's a lot of air incorporated into it. So two cups of sugar. And we also have a third of a cup of oil. The butter gives the cake flavor and the oil keeps it moist. And while that's going, we're going to heat up our coffee. So we have a cup of water. Uh, and once it boils up, we're going to add one tablespoon of coffee grind, our instant coffee, and that'll give the chocolate cake a really nice flavor. Scrape it down, make sure all the butter is incorporated. And while that's going, we can also get our dry ingredients ready. Um, we have two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. To that, we're going to add a cup of cocoa and a teaspoon of salt and baking powder. Um, and our cocoa we have is Dutch processed cocoa, so it already is processed with alkali. Um, so we don't need baking soda, we just have extra baking powder. So you want to whisk it together, get rid of any big lumps. We can set that aside. And once the butter and the sugar is nice and fluffy, we're gonna add almond and vanilla extract, a teaspoon of each. The almond gives it that extra flavor. It really enhances the chocolate. Next are the eggs. We got two eggs. You wanna do one at a time. And once the coffee's hot, we can turn it off, add our tablespoon of instant coffee, give it a stir. After the eggs are in, we can turn it down to low and we're gonna add our flour and the milk. We have one cup of milk and you wanna alternate the flour and the milk in three or four additions. A little bit of flour, a little bit of milk. Once you get to the last one, you can stop the mixer, scrape it down, make sure there's no butter and sugar stuck on the bottom. So it's pretty thick right now, but we're gonna add the hot coffee and that will thin it out. So on low, you want to just add a steady stream of the coffee. Okay. And you just wanna mix until smooth. You don't wanna over mix it. Give it one more scrape down, get everything off the side of the bowl. And I like to use an ice cream scooper, and it's a two ounce ice cream scooper. If you don't have one, you can also use a fourth of a cup measuring cup. And you can fill it pretty full. A heaping scoop is good. And this much batter should make about two dozen cupcakes. Clean off the pan so that extra doesn't burn. We're gonna put them in the oven on 325. So after 12 to 15 minutes is up, we can take our cupcakes out of the oven. You want to check them with a toothpick to see if they're done. Uh, stick a toothpick right in the middle of the cupcake, and if any crumbs come out, that's okay. Um, as long as you don't have any liquid batter. And if it's liquidy batter, then you want to throw it back in the oven for another two to three minutes. That's how you make chocolate cupcakes.